All right, so in this video, we're going to use the half-life equa half equation to solve for an initial amount of a sample. So when we're looking at our equation, we're going to say a is equal to a sub 0 times 1 half raised to the t over h power. Right now, that kind of looks like t over t. Let me make that cleaner. t over h. So remember... A is our final amount. A sub 0, this is what we're solving for. This is the original amount. I think I spelled original wrong, but that's okay. T is the total time. And H is the half-life. So let's jump in says the half-life of cobalt-60 is 5.26 years if 50 grams are left after 15.78 years. How many grams were in the original sample? So A, our final amount, it says that 50 grams are left. So we know that that is going to be A. And it's equal to the original amount. Well, that's what we're solving for. Times one-half of the total time T. The total time, it says, is 15.78 years. And that's going to be divided by the half-life. And the half-life was 5.26 years. So the first thing we're going to do is take care of the exponent. We're going to divide those numbers. So it's 50 grams is equal to a sub 0, 1 times 1 half. Uh, and we're going to do 15.78 divided by 5.26. Once you do that division, you should get 3. So our next step is uh, we're going to go ahead and um, raise one half to the third power. Remember PEMDAS, so exponents come first and then we'll multiply or divide. So we're going to raise that to the third power, which is one half times one half times one half. If you do that, you're going to get that a sub zero is going to be multiplied by one over eight or an eighth. At this point, we need to isolate a sub 0, so we're going to multiply by 8 to both sides to cancel that out. We're going to multiply the left side by 8. So that tells us that our final answer is going to be 400 grams is equal to a sub 0. So again, the hardest part of these questions is just plugging it in, making sure that you keep track of the variables, and then most importantly is remember to follow PEMDAS. Raise that one half to a power first and then multiply by the original amount. If you enjoyed this video, consider pressing the thumbs up button on it and also subscribing to our channel for great content coming at you in the future.